UFG family, what up, doe? What up, doe, man? Welcome to the UFG podcast. So, as y'all can see, episode 19, we're going to do something a little bit different for, for you guys. The first part of this episode, we got my dog, my best friend, my, my homie, my ace, Buck. Hey. In the house. What up? Co-hosting. You know what I'm saying? And then the second part of the episode, we're going to have my queen, my bride, Lily. She's going to do... The second half of this episode. So mm-hmm. we're just going to take a walk with you guys and journey with you guys. Because we're episode 20 will be our final episode of season one, bro. Mm-hmm. That's dope, man. That's yeah. a milestone. Yep. That's something to be proud of, man. Mm-hmm. Um, But with that being said, episode 20 is a very special episode. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. So we decided to have this episode to kind of reminisce and kind of reflect on the UFG podcast, right? Mm-hmm. So, welcome, Buck. Welcome, man. How you feeling, bro? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. So, we got um, some things that we want to discuss about the podcast and everything. So, Buck, I'll ask you. I'll, I'll start off with this first question, man. Mm-hmm. How has having how has the journey of having a podcast, what, 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 has, what has it taught you? What has it taught you, bro? Expect technical difficulties. Yeah, dog. We've <laughs> we, had that. Yes. We we we've we've had a few. Yes. And you know, a few of them it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro. It was uh, one no. one in particular where I think I was trying to get like uh a sip of water. Hey, and, and you I, hit the mute. I, I think I, th- I think I'm I think I muted <laughs> Um, my microphone accidentally, yeah. and I forgot to put it back, and I thought it and was- And we kept filming a whole episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was it was a whole episode where it was just one mic, and yeah. you know, we should have we should have two. All I need is one mic. Right. Yeah, shout out to Nas. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that's, that's one of the things. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like, there's things that you need to check, mm-hmm. and then recheck, and then check- Again and again yeah. and again, and just make sure that everything is is straight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, that's that's so that's so much, man. Uh, so, that's so true. So, I was at the ribbon cutting of the Wilson Smith Studio at PLC downtown mm-hmm. Detroit, and I met a few people, and I met a dude named Caesar. Man, Caesar is so dope. Joe Man Bostic, who's big bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a podcast and he does his podcast with Caesar, mm-hmm. right? So me and Caesar, we click like this, bro. It's dope. And like we were talking about this. We had this conversation that, dude, people think a podcast is all about getting some microphones and just talking, mm-hmm. right? It's a little bit more difficult than that. Yeah. And I was one of them ones who thought when we was having the podcast to begin with, I'm thinking like, oh, we can do this. We can just talk, right? It's not that easy, bro. So um, this journey has taught me that. Like, it's a little bit more than just grabbing two microphones and somebody with you and y'all just talk about a subject. It's a little bit more detailed than that to me, right? Because now... Yeah, that it, it may be that for an episode, but you got to think about the season. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about what's what what's what what's in the news, right? Yeah. What will make people want to listen to you talk? Anybody can just talk. We can just talk like I'm the backwards man, the backwards man, the backwards man. <laughs> I can walk faster back than you can. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we yeah. we can do that kind of talk, and it ain't that don't make sense, right? Mm-hmm. But it has to make sense. It has to draw people. It has to, you know, it's a lot more that goes into a podcast than just us creating material for people to come watch us talk or whatever, and then it's like. Hey, we got a podcast. So yeah. I've learned a lot in that regard and how tough it is. And we see, 
you know, you know from being behind the scenes with me, bro, on how tough it is to come up with content yeah. for the next episode. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, next episode. So I would advise uh, if anyone's out here watching our podcast to model us or to, you know, look at us as inspiration, as motivation, man, batch film. Batch film. Film ahead of time, bro. Mm -hmm. Get it done. Get it knocked out. Buck is really one of the ones who like, hey, bro, I'm coming over to the crib. Let's do two episodes. And, you know, with me having, I got small children, bro. You know, Buck works full time. I work full time. We both have wives. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But I think the small children is very tangible. And when Buck come over like, hey, let's do two episodes. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I'm tired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for yeah, real, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, like, seriously. So, yeah, yeah. Really, and and it, I think it's been one time where we did two episodes. We 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 night. did. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say we did Ma Malice, Malice at the, at the Palace. Palace. Yeah, and then top ten players without an NBA championship. Was it or the Dream Team? One of the two. One of the two. Yeah, but it there, was there, one of those. It was one, but one it, of the, it one was those two definitely where it was, the Malice at the Palace. Yeah, that was a for sure. Yeah, and we're we're going to. I think this episode we're going to pull the curtain back. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so um, you know, I have a wife, and uh, you know, she works. Um, midnights. I think she's gonna be going to a daytime ship soon. Mm -hmm. But it, but there there is times where it's like, okay, well, my wife is at work, so like I got, you time. know, two, yeah. three, four hours. Oh, yeah, you got where time. like I got nothing to do. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey yeah. I got two episodes in me. Yeah, but yeah. you know, but you got little ones. Yeah, and, and you know, your wife is here. You yeah. know, right here. Yeah, right now. So out, yeah, babe. so trust me. You know, I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, no. I, I I definitely get it. So it's it's just a, a a piece of me just want to motivate those who probably watch us for inspiration or motivation and or in, you know whatever you know iron sharpens iron we know that mm -hmm. but we you know it's just like dude if you're doing a podcast one thing that it taught me one is not just grabbing microphones and getting a setup and just talking that's a part of it but it's not just that and then two do film batch film yeah right batch film get like at least if you're going figure out figure out the 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 architecture of your podcast right figure out how many episodes you want in your season mm -hmm. like we figured season 1 because it's new to us we wanted 20 episodes right that's what we narrowed down to you know and you know figure out the episodes, how you want your season to lay, figure out all of that, all, all of that, and then go into the meat of it, right? Batch film. F find out your topics, right? But don't batch film so much where you're out of touch or with current events, right? Yeah. You you can be batch filming about the dream team when Caitlin Clark just dropped 60. Yeah. You feel me? It's like, yeah. come on, you still got to be in touch mm -hmm. with what's going on. So you got to be you know, you got to be responsible if you're going to, you know, talk about certain subjects, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Like, you, you might have to pivot. Like, yeah, you might, you might, have to, you might have to call an audible. Absolutely. And All say, day. hey, you know, this, I this, love is, that this, word, is, this is hot right now. We need to call an audible. Yes. I love that word, pivot. You're right. Mm -hmm. you, you might have to pivot, right? You might have to say, hey, this week we was going to film about. You know the uh, uh, Nigel Sylvester for RHMs, right? We was gonna do this. Yeah, which we was gonna which, do which this. Happened today, by which the way. Which happened today, right? They yeah. released today. But Caitlin Clark could have dropped sixty tonight, and yeah. it's like, hold on, we're gonna have to pivot and talk about that, right? Right? right. Because we want to give our listeners some substance. We want to give them. It's like you don't want to talk about okay, and no shot, no slight to Nigel Sylvester because I admire him and I look up to him, right? He's a dope dude, but it's like okay, his shoes came out, but this girl just dropped sixty. Yeah, you feel me? And that's just that's just hypotheticals, right? It's yeah, not yeah. it's not realistic, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I ain't gonna say it's not realistic, but it didn't happen, mm -hmm. right? That that's that's it didn't even come close to happen. Yeah, a like, female like, like, dropping sixty. Right? Yeah, I so, mean. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Absolutely one day. 
I ain't gonna say maybe. Absolutely one day. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? So batch film, make sure you're in tune with what's going on. So it's so much that I learned, bro. Like, mm. it's not even just about batch filming and uh, not just breaking mics out and just talking. It's a lot, bro. It's It's about being in tune. It's about knowing your audience and what you're trying to convey to them, right? Yeah. Because you want your audience to grow. If this is something that you love. You know, we do this as a hobby. Mm -hmm. This is my co-host, bro. He's not featuring. He's my (laughs) co-host. I appreciate that. Just like my queen. My queen is my co-host, bro. It's not about me, right? You see hosted by Darnell Knox. That's me. But... You know, this is my co-host. I wouldn't be anywhere without this guy. I wouldn't be anywhere without my queen. So you you have to get you have to gather all of that in, bro. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's just one of them things, man. I, I've learned a lot. So as, as we move on, what's your favorite episode of the season, man? That me and you've done the favorite episode that you and me have done is during the episode. Drink, yeah, yeah, the, no, the drinking episode. I feel like I feel like I had a lot of fun, that uh, with with that and just uh, re- reminiscing, because that that was that took me back. Mm-hmm. That took me back to uh, my childhood, and we we you know we if you've seen the episode, you know you already know, yeah, you know all the, all those cats, you know like M- MJ, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley, Patrick mm-hmm. Ewing. David Robinson, Carl Malone, John, you, uh, John, you said John Stockton, Stockton. You said that, yeah. Uh, Barkley, you yeah, said that. Yeah, um, Drexler, Clyde was yeah, a threat. Uh, Cr- yeah, Clyde was a threat. You know, <laughs> a uh, Chris Mullen, uh, yeah. one one of yep. the. I, I, Mullen, I call Chris Mullen underrated, the, bro. I call him the left-handed sniper. Yeah, like he's, underrated. He's, he's, if like left-handed softball player is probably one of the uh, best I've seen. And then, oh, by the way, that's Christian Leitner. Yeah, yeah, Christian Leitner. You know, it's, yeah, it's, him, him too. Christian Leitner is the BTW. He should have had he should have had his jersey, and on the back, instead of it saying Leitner, it should have said BTW. <laughs> like, by the way, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I like but, that episode because we, we, you know, we try to talk about sports. Yeah. Like, you know, this is, you know, I feel like it's a very sports-oriented show. But, yeah. but we're also UFG which for those that don't know, UFG stands for Universal Foot Gear, and we like to talk about sneakers. Yeah, and we got we got to talk culture. about all of those sneakers. Yes. Uh, you know th- those cats w- was rocking. Yeah, you know in Barcelona, and we and broke we, it down. We too. broke we broke it down. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, man. And now that, that was a dope episode. I love that episode. Man, it's so many, bro. I'm looking at the list of our episodes, bro. So we are gonna go through the list, man. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine plus this one mm-hmm. is ten, right? Out of twenty, mm-hmm. we're really twenty-one because episode zero was the origin story, yes. right? So that was me and Lily. We started that one, mm-hmm. right? Me and you tapped in at episode one. So, mm-hmm. uh, so episode one we had origin of the sneaker culture, which was a dope one. Mm-hmm. We touched on a lot of why people collect you know it might have went over a couple people heads though you know because we went back to chuck taylor's yeah chuck P- yeah P- chuck, flyers. chuck taylor's pf flyers we we, we went back uh, there adidas right? superstars right yeah right. oh yeah we went back there reebok pumps yeah you know we, we went way back we went way back and that might have went over a couple people heads bro yeah. i you know i love that one uh episode three ranking nike air jordans one through twenty I love that. I don't think we did one through twenty. I think we did one through fourteen, didn't we? We did one through twenty. Oh, did one I mean, through twenty? I mean, yeah, yeah so we did we, do we, one through we twenty. We did. We did. We did do one. Through the 20. ones that he wore when he was with the Wizards. Yeah. And then there was like you know yeah. Yeah. maybe like two or three. Nineteen and twenty. Right. 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 Because he wore he wore sixteens, seventeens, and eighteens with he, the Wizards. I don't. I don't think he wore sixteens. But he, he wore, wore 17, he wore seventeen to eighteen with the Wizards with Washington. Yeah, I feel like he wore sixteens, but he might have he might have it. But anyway, anyway, so he did. You know, nineteen to twenty was like yeah. without him. But that's when Ray Allen kind of took the face of Jordan Brand, right? 
Yeah. In, in, in that, yes. In that realm. Yes. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah. Saying? Yeah. Ray Allen. Jesus shuttle. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He got game. Jesus. <laughs> yes. Jesus. And then, like, uh, to a lesser extent, uh, Dwayne Wade. He kind of yeah. like he kind of like D-Wade took the took the, took the branch. Took over. Yeah. After took, that. took the torch. And then he went to Laney. But whatever. Yep. Hey, kudos to D Wade. So then you got episode four where we talk about ten top ten players without a championship ring. Mm-hmm. That was a really good one, bro. Yeah. I think that one was a really good we dug and we did research, bro. You did a lot of data chasing. Yeah, I did. You grabbed a lot of data from the archives. Bro. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. that. So me I, personally, yeah. that was one of the ones where, you know, I know who you are, right? We've mm-hmm. been we've been best friends for like 20 years. So I know who you are, but when you brought that out, I was impressed. Yeah, thank you. I was impressed. Bro. <laughs> so that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Uh, Malice at the Palace is probably that was fun. <laughs> one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> and it's only because we relived it. Yeah, and like we're because we and, were together yeah, and, when that happened, right? Yeah, Live. We, we we watched it. You know, like in, 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 we, in my crib. Yeah. You when know, you and stay like with your and, mom and yeah, dad. yeah, and like we're and for those that don't know, we're both from Detroit. Yeah, like yeah. We, we both we both have uh, Detroit birth certificates. Yep. For those yep. that don't know, all day. Mm-hmm. So we were together live when that happened. So that's it's kind of unfair to the other episodes because we witnessed that together and we yeah. were looking at the TV like <laughs> when Jermaine O'Neal socked that dude and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we, you know, that, that was live. So, I really appreciate that episode. Then we got the Dream Team. The Dream Team, of course, mm-hmm. was a dope episode. Episode 8, for y'all that don't know. Mm-hmm. Episode 8 was so dope for the simple fact, like you said, you alluded to and you lamented that episode 8 kind of gave us that um, that nostalgia feel. Yeah. To, to kind of reel us back in mm-hmm. and remember, like I remember them times. I don't know if y'all seen that. I remember when I used to stay up to two, three o'clock in the morning because they were in Barcelona and Barcelona's on a whole nother time, time scale. Right? Yeah. It, it, mm-hmm. it, it's on a other, whole nother time frame. So when I went to watch that again, as a child, like some of them games came on 3 a.m. Yeah. Eastern time. You know what I'm saying? Eastern time. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Yeah, yeah. It's like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. And my, my, my OGs was like, turn that TV off and get go to bed. To bed. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you doing? Go to bed. It's yeah. 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but at that time, I got away with it because mm-hmm. it was summertime. Yeah. Right? We didn't have no school at that time. So. You know what I'm saying? And then for us to be older and really reflect on, because back then, I didn't care about Carl Malone, L.A. Gears in the Olympics. <laughs> you, you feel me? I right. didn't care that yeah. John Stockton wore the Nike Air Boots. I didn't I didn't care about none of that, right? Yeah. I just cared that MJ wore the Olympic Sevens. Sevens. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That, that, that was the thing. And he had number nine on. He had a goatee. He ain't never had no goatee. He was like seeing MJ with a goatee. It was like, right. this is a new MJ. Yeah, like, like Jordan didn't shave. What? Like, like yeah, what the heck? Yeah. And he yeah, got on you, some shoes. Usually, like, usually um, like when I think about goatees, I think about, because uh, I'm the I'm the comic book nerd and the sci-fi nerd, I think about Spock from oh. Star Trek when he had <laughs> the, the mirror universe where like when, when, when Spock turned heel and he was like evil Spock. And, and <laughs> evil he, had, Spock. He, had, he had that goatee. Yeah, the like, goatee, like, yeah. You know, it's like, oh, like only... Only like uh, mirror universes and devils have goatees, you know. So mm-hmm. <laughs> to have Jordan mm-hmm. have one, it's like, oh man, Jordan, like Jordan's hardcore. Yeah, he was on the on the bench, but people don't realize that Charles Barkley was the best player on that team. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whether you want Jordan to, is my whether favorite, you want to admit it or not, for that particular season. Yeah, you know that uh, dream yeah, team. Like he, he Charles Barkley was yeah, the he, best on the team. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. He he savored uh, beating those cats down there in oh, Angola. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, the Angola thing. That's crazy. But anyway, so we're going to say, we're going to keep going from MJ to the 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 Olympic Sevens with the nine on the back. We're mm-hmm. going to go to our episode nine. We segue to that. Yes. Hot takes and debunk. Mm-hmm. That's the hot takes. You know, what was the crux of that episode? The really meat and potatoes of that episode was mostly uh, Nick, uh, Nick Wright. Nick Wright. Nick Wright. Nick Wrong. 
Nick Wright, you yeah. know, him making asinine statements and just saying like ridiculous things, bro. Like being very disrespectful to MJ just to laud his hero. Yeah. You know, it's like. Yeah. And bro, we, we, we talked about having an entire episode uh, for Nick Wright. I'm like, I don't think I had the strength. Yeah, because uh, because I like, wanted to do an entire like, <laughs> episode for Nick Wright. Buck was like, "No, I don't, I don't think I have this. I don't, I don't think I. I don't think wife, I. I don't my, think I have it in me because I, I would have to watch his show. Uh, yeah, we would. Have and to and it's like so we had to like we had to we, 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 we had to put clicks on his yeah. YouTube channel yeah. to do our research. Yeah. And I'm like, do we really want to yeah. make this guy's channel bigger? The same. We should be making our channel bigger. You feel me? The same dude that's, I'm the backwards man, the backwards man. I can walk back as fast yeah. as you can. <laughs> I can work. Like, this This dude is the backwards man, bro. Like, yeah. he's trash. Yeah, it was but, It was, It was. was Nick Wright, but it was It was awesome. We, t- we talked about uh, some of the goofy things but that, no. uh, that, that Draymond Green said oh, and, and yeah. uh, Gilbert Arenas. Rashid Wallace. And, you know, th- this, this uh, you know, they call themselves uh, the new media. Yeah, and then Rasheed Wallace saying MJ didn't deserve the yeah. first player of the year. He didn't play defense. Just this, this uh, ridiculousness. Like, it's like, just it's like, it's like bro, like, yeah. you, you guys were players. Yeah. It's, it's, and some of you are still uh, players. You're yeah. saying this craziness. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah, Draymond. For instance, oh, I'm the best defensive player to ever live. Like, really? You better than Dennis Rodman? You better than Akeem Olajuwon? You better than Tony Allen? No. You better than you? Like, dog, no. what are we doing? No. Like, no. what are we doing? Like, stop, bro. You're in a system that you had two of the best shooters of all time. Yeah. And you had yeah. a guy that was transcendent in Stephen Wardell, Stephen Curry. Junior, mm-hmm. that he was transcended to the game of basketball, and the rest of the league didn't catch up. Right, the rest of the league didn't catch up. Yeah. So y'all won four championships. Yeah. Which, hey, salute to you, bro. Yeah. But you're not a Finals MVP. No, like you're, you're no, not even talked about as a Finals. No, MVP. no. Draymond was a goon. Yeah. You know, you're you're an you're enforcer. A role player. Yeah. yeah. You're you're an enforcer. Play your role. Shut your mouth. Eat your French fries. That's it. That's yeah. It. Yeah. So you know that that was that was that one. Yeah, but, but he's a Michigan guy. He's Saginaw strong. Yeah, Saginaw. Okay. Yeah, Saginaw. Shout out to everybody in Saginaw who listen to us. Love you guys. Peace. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, like for real, I want to do an episode on Nick Wright because Nick Wright should be banned from wearing Jordans. That was the worst thing. Yeah, yeah, and but, yeah, yeah, hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on, but okay. hold on, but I'm gonna say this. 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 When I showed Buck, right, Buck didn't know. Me and Lily had found some pictures of Nick Wright because I was so livid. Like Nick Wright was saying all this ridiculous stuff and disrespectful stuff about MJ. It's in, in connection with his 88, 89 season where, uh. No, it wasn't 87, 88. But the 88 season where MJ won defensive player of the year, first team all defense, first team all NBA, MVP, scoring leader champion, steals leader champion, dunk contest champion. Um, What else? What else did he do that year? Like arguably the steals, best. Steals leader. Yep, steals. I said dunk that. Dunk contest. Dunk contest said that. Okay. Um. What else? What else? Um. um All-star MVP. Yep. All-star MVP. I didn't say that. Okay. Um, all all these accolades, right? He won in this year. Dougie, you know, go back and watch Last Dance. What, like all defense, episode five, all defensive first four. team. Yeah, all defensive first team. Yeah, defensive player of the year. You know, steals leader. It's, it's uh, like it, it was like a laundry list. Yeah, yeah. Of Arguably the titles. best individual season by any. He didn't win the ring. I give you that. He didn't win Finals MVP that year. You know, but at the end of the day. Arguably the best individual season mm-hmm. ever performed by an NBA player, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And Nick Wright, try, him and John Haberstro, who is a jerk too, mm-hmm. they tried to formulate a yeah. plan saying that his stats were inflated. Yeah. Fugazi. It was Fugazi. He didn't do this because they know that that season is clear cut separation from their hero, LeBron. Mm-hmm. Like LeBron has nothing 
on that season. No, he can he like can do he, whatever. At, he can make Bronny. Yeah. He can pick Bronny up and make him score 40. And that would never compare to that season, bro. Mm-hmm. That season, single-handedly, was the one of the greatest seasons individually by an NBA player in history. Yeah. I will argue anybody. Give me your historian. Yeah, Give me- I never I never seen any player that at least to my knowledge, maybe maybe I got ignorance on maybe I haven't done all my research, but I'm trying to I'm trying to think have Bill Russell done that. I'm trying to think has Kareem Abdul Jabbar done yeah, that. You're the like, best I'm, I'm try- offensive I'm to player think, has, has Shaq and done that. defensive I'm player. I think has Kobe done that. Yeah. Like I I I can't yeah. I, I can't in my yeah, head bro. see any of them doing what MJ did. Yeah. In, in that season. Yeah. Right? Only thing that was left off from that season was a finals MVP. And in 88, they couldn't get past Detroit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. The bad boys. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because in 88, the Pistons went to the finals against the Lakers. The Lakers won that. Yeah. 89, the Pistons won that. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm the saying? Pistons, no, were, Pistons were on top of the East on. for a long time. No, that, hold on. Yeah, 89, the Pistons won. 90, the Pistons won. 91, yeah. Jordan took over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's when his three started. You know, his dad got murdered. Then came back three more. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> my thing is this, bro. To be able to go in and muster up that foolishness, that garbage. Hey, babe, how, how do you say garbage in, uh, in Espanol? In Espanol. Basuda, that basuda. <laughs> you know, no, no, that gar, that yeah. that basuda. They try to yeah. muster up el garbage. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> el garbage. I'm sorry. El, I'm sorry. el refuse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this garbage that they tried to stir up and say because that's the only way that you can say to to LeBron. Yeah, bro. You can, yeah. You you can't beat MJ. On yeah, so it was you're like you're the best offensive player. I don't mean to cut you uh-huh. off, but yeah, go ahead. But you're you're the best offensive player for the entire eighty. He played eighty two games. You're the best offensive player because you got the season regular season MVP. Mm-hmm. So you're the best offensive player. You you elevated your team. You're the most valuable player. That's what MVP means. Mm-hmm. You made your team better. You were. First team on defense, and you won defensive player of the year, mm-hmm. and you won uh, all star game MVP, dunk contest champion. Like, come on, bro. It's so now it's like, oh, oh we got to take that defensive player because LeBron don't have a defensive player. So they have to remove that defensive player from MJ for him to be in the same realm for LeBron not to have. And LeBron is a great player, bro. This is what I don't understand. It's like when 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 Bronny scored thirteen, they're like, "Oh yeah, he's gonna be rookie of the year." Like, dude, stop, stop. Who? Just let just <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> just let Bronny just be Bronny, bro. You know what I'm saying. We know his daddy got him a guaranteed contract, second round, fifty fifth pick, yeah. with a guaranteed contract. What is it? Two years, uh, four years, eight million, two million a year. Okay, he he looked out for it. Saying, if I was a father, I do. I mean, I am a father. If I was in LeBron's position and Elijah wanted to hoop and I had that leverage, okay, I'll use my leverage to help my son. But come on, y'all. Dude scored 13 points. They get a sum. Look, when he's horrible, what they say? Oh, it's just summer league. I heard Skip Bayless. Skip Bayless. Sayonara to FS1, Skip Bayless. But Skip Bayless, I heard Skip Bayless. <laughs> I heard Skip Bayless. <laughs> I heard, I heard, hey, 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 for real, for real, for real, dog. I heard uh, Skip Bayless say, yeah, yeah, to Paul Pierce, even Paul uh, Pierce co signed on his bull crap. Uh, okay, Keyshawn was like the cheerleader. Keyshawn is a LeBron, he got LeBron jockstrap on both ears. Like, oh, he's just like, LeBron <laughs> is my guy. He's uh, such a Laker fan now. Did you say all, so? all, all these Laker fans, uh, that that's LeBron fans, that's Laker, oh, we been, no, y'all weren't Laker fans when Kobe was there. Y'all weren't Laker fans when Magic was there. Y'all Laker fans now because LeBron there. 
Yeah. Right. So anyway, Keyshawn is co-signing. Even Paul Pierce. I was disappointed in Paul because I expect Paul to have a stronger take with him smoking weed and strippers and stuff like that. And Disney, uh, you know, Disney firing him at ESPN. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking he'll have a stronger take on FS1, but I guess not. So Mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. So they're (laughs) they're like, oh, yeah, Bronny, you know. I'm not worried about Summer League. Summer League is whatever. Mm. You know, Summer League doesn't mean nothing. Summer League is this. Summer League is that. He needs, Bronny needs to be out there with the real talent. If this dude can't score on Summer League talent, how should he be out there with, like, the starting five? Like if he can't yeah. guard, if he can't guard some, I want to say seventy five or no, I, that that might be high. Maybe forty five percent of these guys that's playing the summer league would not play in the NBA season in twenty four twenty five. And if you can't yeah. go against them, what are you going to do against Lamelo Ball, against Damian Lillard, against Stephen Curry? Yeah. Against these guards, mm-hmm. that's you know what I'm saying. What are you gonna do? Yeah, and but that's their take. They're like, oh, we need to see him with the starting group. No, you don't. You you're getting a microchasm. If he can't do this against lower tier talent, what makes you think he gonna do this against? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know I I went off track. Oh no, you good? You good? You good? You 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 good? But you know, just this is uh, that debunk crap. Yeah, bro. I mean today today is uh, July twentieth. And we said maybe, I don't know, might have been like three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. And we kind of said like half joking, half serious that J.J. Redick would be the head coach and Bronny would be a second round pick. And, and, and both of those things happen. Happened. Both of those things happen. And, uh, you know, going in today, um, like, you know, that was an episode that you vetoed because I, I wanted to do let, <laughs> yeah, let, let's let bash the Lakers episode. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. That, I pitched that. You and did. and we, 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 that got vetoed. We, we vetoed that. We, 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 we vetoed that cause because I wanted to go we, in on the, whole, the, the entire organization, yeah. the entire franchise. Yeah. I was going to go in on LeBron. I was going to go in on the head coach. We sh- we, I was going to go, gonna go have, in on yeah. Palinka's. I was going to go in yeah. on uh, Jeannie Buss, the soccer mom. Yeah. Like, I was going to go in on that entire uh, organization. Um, but I remember you said it was like, well, you know, we don't want to look like Lakers haters, do we? No, we don't want to look like that. Yeah. So that was an episode that was like, nah, I don't think we should do that. Yeah. But you know what, dog? A piece of me feel like, man, we should have did it, bro. Mm. But I know personally, you know, like Jared, um, we 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 got a yeah we have per, we have personal friends yeah and and, so, and like I'm not talking I'm not basketball. talking about like um like I was a big Shaq fan yeah Shaquille sure. O'Neal like I like I like Shaquille Me O'Neal too. through his entire career Me you too. know Orlando Magic Orlando. Uh, Lakers even yes. even the Miami Heat. And, and, like, and he had a brief stint as uh, uh the big cactus Twism. <laughs> Twism. You know, like, he, Twism he, for he, life. He did, he did that. And but I was I was always I was always a Shaq fan. Twism and, and I still am. Um, no, why are you say Twism? The world is mine. <laughs> no, the That's what it stands for. <laughs> Twism. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> Twism. Twism for life. Uh, and like Kobe. Come on, Kobe. Um, I don't like Ari Spears. I don't like number eight Kobe. I do like yeah, I 24 Kobe. I like I love 24 Kobe. I wasn't a big fan of number eight Kobe as well. Yeah, but I, 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 I but that. I do like 24 Kobe. I will say that. I respected number eight Kobe. I think when I respected number eight Kobe uh-huh. was in 2001 when Shaq fouled out in the finals against the Pacers. Okay. And Kobe took over. It was the, like, I got this game. Yeah. That game. That's when I was like, okay. This kid is something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. This kid, you gotta understand. At this time, at this time, 2001, he was what 22 years old, 23, 20, 21, between 21, 23 years old. So at that time, that's when I'm like, okay, yeah, this kid is. And I'm not gonna. Yeah. Lie, I, I wasn't the biggest Kobe, but when Kobe, I respected. I started respecting Kobe more when they sucked, right? 
when the Lakers was trash without like, Shaq, yeah, like, Smush like, Parker, like, like Jeremy Lin, Smush Parker, uh, Swaggy P, Smush Parker. Yeah. <laughs> when they had that squad, yeah, that's when I started respecting yeah, where he, Kobe because he, I'm like, he's like, he's trying not to throw a temper tantrum yeah. on, on on Jimmy Kimmel, yeah, and man. things like that. And they, they I remember, I never forget at the end of one game, and. Uh, they asked Joe, they asked Kobe. They was like, you know, how do you feel? Cause they lost or something. And the rest of the team was like, ho hum. You know, Kobe was pissed. Yeah. And it was like, Kobe, how do you feel? He was like, jovial. <laughs> like <laughs> jovial. <laughs> that joke was hilarious. I'm yeah. like, dog. It's like, what kind and, of stupid question is yeah, this? Yeah, right. Like, are you it, kidding it, me? It, it's like the the Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. Like, like I'm thankful. Yeah, I'm thankful. Like, like the Rasheed Wallace, both teams play hard. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it, yeah, it, it's yeah. that. But, babe, remember back when we lived in San Bernardino and you uh uh Xavier Henry, those Lakers. Oh, my God. I haven't heard that. Those Lakers. Xavier <laughs> Henry, those Lakers with Swaggy P. Yeah. Them Lakers, bro. Like, Kobe, that, that's after the repeat. With Bynum and Gasol, mm-hmm. and you know that's after that. That's after them Lakers. But yeah, but yeah, bro, it's yeah. it's like so it's like I don't hate the Lakers. Like like I yeah, they, they they me there are some memories of things that the Lakers done. You know, like 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 the the, the, the 2000, 2001 Lakers. Oh and yeah, and then you got they got the Showtime Lakers. Where it was like Magic, Kareem, James Worthy. I mean, I like they I, done- I love those guys. When the Lakers done grimy stuff, when Magic like pushed Isaiah in nineteen eighty eight, and it should have been a foul. Oh yeah, in the finals, you know, and Isaiah had the broke ankle, the fractured ankle, and he still scored like thirty. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. you know, yeah, the yeah, next yeah. year the Pistons won, so it was like, yeah. it was like no harm, no foul. Kind of yeah. washed, washed. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. Balance. Cause, yeah, because the next year the yeah. Pistons won, like so. Thanos. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, we were on the hot takes, right? We kind of mm. went all the way to that. But hot takes that was episode nine. And episode thirteen, the insights on the Jordan Eleven. Remember, yeah, we, yeah, we, we, we broke talk, that we talked down. about the Air Jordan Eleven. Yes, sneaker. yes, that's a, that was a good episode too. Mm. And I appreciate again your data and your research that you brought. Um, to the table, uh, concerning um, Jordan, what he desired from the standpoint. Remember, MJ coming back from baseball. You know, Space Jam is on the brink. It's like we're 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 trying to push him back up on his pedestal. He didn't get another championship yet when the Elevens came out. No, you know what I'm saying? Like not yet. This not, this not, wasn't not yet. like. The kumbaya after he hold the championship. Right? Yeah, yeah, right? he he was still rocking forty five. Yeah, bro. And yeah, uh, bro. he had he had to uh, you know they, go through they, they, they lost, go through they, they failure, lost, lost to the magic. Yeah, he went through a failure. Yeah, so you had Penny Hardaway. He was he was on the rise. Yeah, uh, yeah. you know we already especially we already in Nike basketball. Yeah, with mm-hmm. the little Penny that was so marketable. Yeah. You know, everybody, I remember being in high school, I had the Penny ones. Mm-hmm. Even though I don't have them today, I got the social status ones, uh, Penny ones, but I don't have the OG Penny ones like you got. And I need mm-hmm. I need to yeah, grab yeah, those. Yeah, but yeah. I had those in high school. I remember my yeah. mom bought me those, and them, them joints was like 150 in high school. Yeah. My mom was like, I got you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. However... Um, that next season, <laughs> yeah, seventy two and ten. Yeah, that, that, that next that next season swept swept the magic. Mm-hmm. You know, Nick, uh, Mister, uh, Miss Four Free Throws, Nick Anderson. Yeah, what you got to say now? Yeah, I don't want to. I I don't want to call him Nick the Brick, but Nick the Brick. That print people call him that. Yeah, yeah, man. So then, yeah, and then like the the different silhouettes. You got you know concords, the legend blues, different colorways. Yep, the, yep. the breads. Yep. The, the gammas, legend blue, yeah, like you name, you cool name grays. Those. The what's the blue ones called that you bought with the pack? Um, pan, it's Pantone, Pantone or, or, or Pantone. I, I can't remember. I just call it Pantone. Yeah, if y'all don't like it, whatever. Pantones, and then you know the Elevens, bro. Yeah, the Eleven is the greatest shoe, whether sneaker, yeah. boot, dress shoe. 
Whatever it is, eleven is the greatest shoe ever constructed. Yeah, we we broke ever. down the uh the anatomy, the tech, and like the the, the tech and like the yeah. the the air sole and like people you know mm-hmm. like think that uh like those looking right there you got mm-hmm. those uh those those air maxes and you you got you have an exposed uh air unit but you know sometimes there is an air unit inside the shoe that's not but exposed. but it's it's not exposed like yeah. you know it, it's covered up it's by not. the the phylon or yeah. or the polyurethane or, or whatever whatever yeah. you know the case may be yeah. and it's like oh yeah we can clearly uh you know you know see that you know that's that's the that's the the big boy that, yeah. that's that's the that's the big it's bubble from the 80s. Yeah, yeah but i mean but there there is a there is a bubble inside the 11 in, yeah. internally 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 yeah it's encapsulated and it's not exposed right right so, yeah, and that was a good job by you doing that research because I never known that. Mm. I never known the tech specs of that. You know, everybody knows the carbon fiber. Everybody knows the translucent outsole with the herringbone traction on the the forefoot and the heel. Right. You know what I'm saying? Those things yeah. are kind of self explanatory. Patent but, leather. Yeah, the patent leather for sure. The ran, the mm-hmm. patent leather ran. Mm-hmm. Every everybody knows that from speculation just looking at the shoe right yeah but for you to dig in and go grab hey polyurethane this and there is an encapsulated air unit but it's not exposed you know what i'm saying so that's dope that's real dope yeah these yeah. are super dope man. oh yeah 326 yeah man. yeah, yeah. <laughs> air max day y'all yep so anyway um yeah bro that that was a great episode as well and then we had episode fifteen, the great goat debate. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, I think a lot of people were a little butthurt off that one. It, it's a little uh, what's the word? Um, polarizing. I don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Either you love it or hate it. Yeah, you're going to have an opinion about that episode. Yeah, because so, you know, of course, we're Team Jordan over here. Yeah, you know, but yeah, and and but like we we watched them play. And like you know, you know, you made a good point. Like we, we've the people who are mainly in the goat debate. When I think about a goat debate, at least, at least in the modern era, yeah, there's typically three names yeah. you hear: Michael yeah. Jordan, yeah, LeBron James, yeah. Kobe Bryant, yeah. And you know, you and I, we've seen all three of those they whole careers. play, like you know, you know, for their their entire career, yeah. And it's like some of the earlier stuff. With MJ, because like when he came in, you know the '84 yeah. season, '85. Right, I was uh, five, so six I was, years I was, old. I was a, I was a tyke. I yeah. was, I was, I was a, I, didn't I was, I was, I was a little fella. Yeah, you I know. Didn't so it was like my, you know, my parents, you know, well, my my dad really, you know, he was, you know, he was all about Zeke. Yeah, you know, but then he had his his guys, George Gervin, yeah. Iceman, Elgin Baylor from Detroit, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Right. You know, Iceman was from here, yeah. but it was like. You know, when they turn the TV on, you know, I remember seeing, you know, my dad, you know, and a few of his, his people, they watched that 92 series with uh, the Blazers. And wow. that's what I really begin to appreciate, uh, Michael Jordan, the shrug. Yeah. Clyde yeah. I was a threat. Yeah. I was a threat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. And I think with me, same, same with you, bro. I didn't, I didn't see, you know, even though I'm a, you know what? Two two years older than you, mm-hmm. I didn't get to enjoy Jordan from UNC. I didn't see the game winning shot in UNC. Yeah, I didn't see any Tar Heels games. I, I, I didn't understand that. Yeah, if I did see it, I, I don't remember it. You know what I'm saying? My frontal cortex wasn't developed, but my family was basketball heavy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like you, my family was piston, piston, pistons. Mm-hmm. Right? It was hate the Bulls. Love the Pistons. That was the family tradition, but I kinda, basically <laughs> I, I, I kind of went the other way. Yeah, because I figured out at a young age that MJ, I think in eighty seven, or no, 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 not eighty seven, eighty eight, when he won a dunk contest against Dominique and he jumped from the free throw line. Yeah, that right there. Mm-hmm. When I seen that live. Mm-hmm. I was like, I like this guy. Yeah. Because I was a little kid. I always liked Magic Johnson. Yeah. Because his name, 
And it's crazy to say that right now and not say pause. Magic, you know what I'm Mag- Magic Johnson. I used to like Magic Johnson. I used to like Magic Johnson and because of his name, Magic right. Johnson. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And then <laughs> Yeah, it, it didn't mean what, what we Johnson think it means, means today. today. Yeah, yeah. So but anyway, um and then he played for the Lakers and they had the purple and gold. They yeah. didn't wear white uniforms. They wore gold at home and purple on the road. Yeah. It was like, wow, hold on. This team different. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know, Magic was that guy. Yeah. But yeah, his, his, I didn't really understand basketball. I just liked from the name. Yeah. Right? His, his, I was um, like seven, eight years old. His, uh, because I always say my favorite point guards, you know, Magic, Stockton, yep. Kid, Thomas, and uh, if I could, if I could pick one more, um, that Phil Phil might bounce here and there between some of the modern guys. Yeah. But but the point is that like like I love Stockton, his you know acuity. Yeah. Magic was throwing no look passes. Yeah. Like no. like I, I'm looking at you and I'm throwing it there. Yeah, and it's on point. Yeah. And it's an assist. Yes. It ain't just like, oh, let me do this fancy pass and he catch it, he don't have a shot and he throw it to somebody else. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah. You threw this fancy pass, it was so cold to yeah. the point he had an easy layup. He just yeah. put it right in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. pause. I mean, yeah. 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 And yeah. It, but then it was like after Magic retired, you know, like it was all about MJ. Yeah. And and like you know we, even even before Magic retired, really, yeah, it, it was a it was I think eighty eight season. That's when people knew MJ put people on notice in eighty eight. He let them yeah. know he was the goat. Mm-hmm. He, he didn't even have a championship yet, and people were calling him the best player they ever seen. Mm-hmm. His peers, yeah, people he playing against every night, yeah, was calling him the best player they ever seen in nineteen eighty eight. Yeah, right. So, yeah, because because he had he had he had a very very good mid range. Yes, number one. Yes, he can dunk. His athletic ability like, you know, was off the charts. Post posterizing yes. guys. He's jumping and, and over then, guys. And then yeah. like his his, e. and his his D. Yeah. Pause. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, defense. Yeah, 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 yeah. His defense was cold. Yeah. Man. His defense was cold. But at the end of the day, it's like I didn't understand who Jordan was until the free throw line. Right. Okay. When I yeah. seen that dunk contest, because yeah. I remember anybody who knows my mom was just over here. You can ask her. My yeah. mom was a huge Dominique Wilkins fan. Yeah. That um, was her guy. My dad had a videotape. Uh-huh. I'm showing my age. Uh, he had VHS tape. Yeah. And it, it was, it, it was a, uh, the title was called Dazzling Dunks and Basketball Bloopers. Yeah. You seen that? that? Yeah. yeah. And I had that. Oh, you yeah. had it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, it was like, so they show like, you know, um, they had like a section for like. The dunk contest. The, the, the dunk yep. contest. And they had, yep. they had Dom- Dominique Wilkins and MJ. They did. Sp- Sp- they, Web was on yeah, there. Spud Web. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it was multiple. But yeah, 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 no, yeah. and I so, and so yeah, so it it was in that videotape, yeah, where like like you said, like oh, I'm putting you on notice, yeah, you know, MJ was in that tape putting yeah. cats on notice, on notice, bro, because it went through the regular season of dunks, like they had everybody getting dunks, right? Mm-hmm. Like people were getting, yeah, dunked they had on like them. Chocolate Thunder, yeah, 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 Chocolate Thunder was yeah. doing dunks. Yeah, you know, yeah, he had the yeah, 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 your mama couple. dunk, and yeah. you know he, he he's he's shattering the backboards and all that stuff. Patrick Ewing dunked on some cats. Mm-hmm. Barkley was dunking on cats. Like you know, yeah, you, even like, even Magic had a couple dunks yeah, in there because it yeah. was showing like facials, right? Right. Like you know, pause. It was showing facials, yeah. like boom. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, but at the end of the day, it was like it showed. It really highlighted the dunk contest. Cause that eighty eight dunk contest was monumental, mm-hmm. right? That that was a monumental dunk contest. Mm. A lot of people argue and feel like Dominique should have won, but that dunk right there was iconic, bro. Yeah. Like you can't beat that to this day. This nigga had, I mean, this dude, <laughs> you can't beat that dunk. This dude had hair. Yeah. Like, 
come on, bro. Right, like, it right. was... People don't even remember. Even Jordan fans, younger Jordan fans, don't even remember when he had hair. I remember when he had hair, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so my thing is this, man. It's like, I didn't know who MJ was. Like, we talking about the gold debate. I didn't know who he was mm. in 1984. I was born in 78. So in 84, I was six. Mm. So I didn't know who he was, bro. I was a kid. Mm. I didn't know. Right. And that's that's not my fault. But when I was old enough to understand basketball, when I realized who he was by 1988, when I'm 19 years old, oh, yeah, he's the GOAT. Yeah. And he's been the GOAT from then. Mm-hmm. His own peers was calling him the greatest basketball player they ever seen. I mean, come on, bro. In 1980, what was that, 85, Larry Bird said, that ain't Michael Jordan. That's God playing basketball. Basically. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's Jesus and sneakers yeah. or whatever he said. Yeah, whatever. Black, black Jesus. Yeah, or, or that, yeah whatever uh, reference. Yeah, he said, yeah. You know? uh-huh. And they was telling dude, they told Kobe, don't look him in his eyes. That's black Jesus. Kobe's like, what? That's why I love Kobe because Kobe was like yeah. relentless, bro. Like, what? Come on. But Kobe knew that that was the GOAT, though. Kobe will tell you. Yeah. And like a lot of that episode, it was like MJ versus LeBron. Yeah. And I don't know if we came out as LeBron haters. Like neither one of us hate LeBron James. No, like we, don't Le- hate Le- him. we don't put that out there. We don't hate LeBron we don't James. Hate LeBron. We hate we, the we shenanigans. Hate, we hate some of the uh, how do I say antics? Yeah, the antics. And some some of the, the goofiness. And yeah. it's like I'm about to pick up this guy's visor yeah. that broke and put on my eyes. Yeah. And you know, some of the yeah. uh, like the the I guess the theatrics. Mm-hmm. You know that that he uh, that he does and the PR stunts. You know what I'm saying? The stunts to create narratives in the media. You know when 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 LeBron got swept by the by the, or even get didn't get swept but got beat by the Warriors when the elimination games. He comes out with a cast like you didn't have yeah, a cast on the whole series, but the elimination game you put a cast on. Oh, I've been playing with a broken wrist the entire series. Like, come on. Like, yeah, stuff it's, like it's, that. It's, we we like, had ugh. we had a conversation uh, off air. I'm gonna get into the details, mm-hmm. but just about I guess the crux of it was accountability. Yeah, dog. And it's like it's like yeah. you need you need to be held accountable he, for, he, for 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 the for the things that you do, and and it's, as well as the things uh, that you don't don't do. do. Yeah, you know what I mean? Dog. Like like if if Jordan misses a shot, it's like yeah, that was on me. Like I I, I missed the well, shot and I need to do better. Uh, you know, like I need to do better on my clutch. Like my, you know, I need to improve my clutch. Uh, Whereas, like if, if LeBron, you know, if LeBron if, gonna if, if, pass if, if, it if to a, a nigga, to he'll, miss he'll, the he'll, shot. he'll 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 pass it. Yeah, and then he'll like kind of just wash my hands. Yeah. Of it, or he'll say, yeah, uh, me and Kyrie and Kevin Love, you know, we're doing all the work and we yeah. don't have us. We're top our, heavy. We're, we're top heavy. Yeah. Our, our supporting cast isn't really there. And it's mm-hmm. like, bro, it's like, yeah, you bro. need to be accountable. Yeah. Like, you, you know, like. You the GOAT, then be the GOAT. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's just bottom line. If you going to be the GOAT, if you say you the GOAT, like he literally said that out of his mouth. Yeah. It's not his fans going to bat for him. Mm-hmm. He said that. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to say that, then do it. Mm-hmm. Be that. Right? Mm-hmm. So. Yep. So whatever, yep. you know, Gold Debate was episode 15. Episode 17 was one of my favorites as well, bro. Mm-hmm. So one of my favorites, episode 17, how old is too old to wear Jags? Yeah. And me yeah. and me and uh, Jumpman Bostic yes. at, at the ribbon cutting event for Wilson Smith. Shout out to Wilson Smith. Salute, PLC, mm-hmm. everybody. He has a uh, studio that's uh he designed the seventeens. Uh yep. Yeah, he did he worked with Tinker on the fifteens, which the shoe I hate. Uh that's the one Jordan We gave it an F. I hate Yeah, like on, on our uh on our episode shoe. three, we gave it we both, no, both gave it an F. No disrespect to Tinker or Wilson Smith. It's just that shoe was terrible. Nobody talks about that shoe, right? Nobody talks about it. you got some enthusiasts that's like, oh, I love the fifteen, the white well, and blue they're, ones. They're the, the ones that Reggie Miller wore. I think those are about to get retro. Yeah, they are, and it's like they can they can keep them. I'm not paying for them. <laughs> I'm cool. Yeah, I, only ones that I would have worn was the all black ones. Yeah, and that's because I like black sneakers. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I I don't like the fifteen. But he worked with Tinker on the fifteens. He did the sixteens, 
17 and 18, I think, solo. Well, with the team where mm-hmm. he was the lead designer, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but anyway, me and Jumpman Bostic, we was talking about that, uh-huh. this subject, you know. And remember, he did an article with Complex Magazine. Complex. yeah. You know, talking about, you know, uh, wearing J's and yeah. his, you know, his history and, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And our, uh, I guess you could say motivation for creating that episode 17 wasn't from Jumpman Boston no. or Complex Magazine. It was from Cam Newton. Yeah, Cam Newton. Because yeah. Cam had- Papa Shango. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, about the Undertaker, dog. Yeah, like, <laughs> weird stuff just come to my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they were boys, uh, BSK. Yeah, yeah dog. Yeah. So if, anyway, if you know, you know. Yeah, if you know, you know. So Cam had made the statement: if you're over thirty, you shouldn't be wearing jade. You should dress like him, basically. I don't know. Like, you know, maybe we should be out here wearing monarchs. But the mm-hmm. point that we were making, we grew up in the Jordan era. Right. Why, why wouldn't we wear Jordans? Mm-hmm. We grew up in Bo Jackson's era. Yeah. Why wouldn't we wear mm-hmm. Bo Jackson's? Buck got on some Bo Jackson's, y'all. That's cold. <laughs> why wouldn't we wear Bo Jackson's? We grew up in Deion Sanders' area. Why wouldn't we wear Deion Sanders? We grew up in the Five Five era. Why wouldn't we wear Hirachis? Right. Like, it's, it's like, what are you saying, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, we didn't grow up in the era of dudes running numbers in hard bottoms, like, every day. Yeah. Like, zoot suits. We, we we didn't grow up in that, in that right. time frame. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, why wouldn't we wear what we grew up in, yeah. right? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So, with him being in this generation under us... I don't want a generation bash because I don't want people to feel like they grew up in the Cam Newton era. Cam was born in what, 1989? I think we 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 did research. Cam was born in 89 because he, he was a year old or he wasn't even born yet when MJ did, or 87. I think he was like a year old when MJ did this for the line. So I just feel like I don't want to bash generations, right? I don't want to bash you guys who grew up in that generation or who grew up after the Jordan generation and make y'all feel like, oh, you can't like Jordans because of this. Yeah. He, uh, so today he's 35. So what's that? 89. 89. Right. So he wasn't even born yet when Jordan did all of this, mm-hmm. right? So <sighs> like he came after this. This was in February 89. Right? That was 88. February 80, 89. Because it was towards the end of the year. Right? Because, no, you're right. That was 88. That was February 88. 88, yeah, yeah. So, he wasn't even born yet. Uh-huh. He was born July 89. Mm. He's, he's born after that. Yeah, he's yeah, born yeah. a year after that yeah. and some change. Mm. So, it's like, bro, you yeah, you can't compute that. Mm. You can't understand. So at the end of the day, you know. Yeah, so yeah that that was the, I think the main reason because that because that was a two parter. I think you you and uh, Lily started. Me and Lily did the first one, and yeah. then me and you because I wanted to get her perspective from a female's point of view because there's yeah. females sneaker collectors that you know we respect and you know we endear and, mm-hmm. and you know we appreciate. Absolutely. Their contribution to the culture. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get her take on it to represent their their take. And then me and you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because we're from the same generation. Lily is a little younger than us. But we from the same generation. We speak the same language and the same code. We understand. Mm-hmm. So it's like, bro, you're, you were born in 89. So you, yeah, you're right. You don't understand. Mm-hmm. What's the point? Yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't get it. You yeah. won't get it. <laughs> but you know who Papa Shango is, and he was from our generation. Right. You know? like, <laughs> I don't know how you get that one, but yeah. whatever. You yeah. got that. But but anyway, yeah. man. Like, uh, apologize to that lady. Yeah. Um, you know. <laughs> yeah. About running routes. Yeah. Apologize yeah. to her about that. Can't yeah. You? 
But out of the list of episodes with me and you, bro, I really feel like my favorite. Uh, we kind of ran down the list. I I, I want to say the Malice at the Palace episode five. Mm-hmm. So y'all check it out, season one, episode five. That was a good one. Uh, we 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 really uh digested the Malice of the Palace and dissected it. Yeah, and it was yeah. it was a yeah. time in our lives where we were together. We were in, physically in the same room when that was happening. Mm-hmm. Right. So uh and we were still homeboys and cool and all that at that time when like he was a random and we didn't know each other, but we was no, nah, this was my guy mm. back when Malice of the Palace was happening. So yeah, that's probably my favorite episode because it and then the dream team. Yeah. You know, those yeah. two were my favorite as well. So I guess we agree. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. So, you know, yeah. um, yeah, bro. That that was that was dope, man. What a season, huh? Mm-hmm. What a season, bro. Yeah. So what about the strong points? Like question three. We, we kind of had like a little Yeah. Uh, wrote down some notes here. Yeah, like, we wrote what, down some notes. The strong points and what we can improve on. We can improve on probably staying on track. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Staying on track. Lily is very big on us staying on track. And being a little bit more structured. At first, in the beginning, I just wanted this to be like barbershop talk. Yeah. Like we just kind of freelance and enjoy and laugh and kick yeah. it. And, but Lily's right. We yeah. do need to be a little bit more structured. Yeah. To keep it more, you know, allocated to subject matter. And we'll work on that. That's fair. We'll work on that. That's fair. That's fair. I think the, the topics that we were passionate about yeah we did our homework yeah you know like like we we watched like like you went and found a dream team um documentary yeah and i'm like i think we can i think we can just do it it's like no we gotta watch it we gotta find a documentary and like we went through like netflix we went through like like, espn plus and a few a few other what was it um, it was on like a fox or it was it was just like some obscure yeah we found it wasn't like espn or nothing. It was I can't something remember, different. I can't remember what it was, yeah. but um, but it 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 shows some things that yeah, it was it was it, it, it was, was it was legit. legit. It was yeah. some things that I never saw. Yeah, like like legit. the Charles the Charles Barkley uh, Angola yeah. uh you know stuff. The elbows. Yeah. So I'm like you know I feel like the things that we that we um really really wanted to do. Yeah. You know we we put our our foot in it. Yeah, we did. In, in terms of where I think. Um, we can improve, or at least I'll speak for me, like where I can improve. I felt like I played maybe I would say listening to the episodes because I listened to all of them, mm-hmm. and Same. whether whether it was on because uh, I, I got an iPhone, so mm-hmm. I listen listen to through uh, Apple Podcast, mm-hmm. and then sometimes I will watch it on because there, there is a video on YouTube. Yep. So with that, with those with those two things, I was able to watch everything. So. I would say that me looking at myself and just kind of critiquing myself, mm. there were times where I was, I didn't really pick a side where I kind of played play devil's, play devil's advocate too much or I, I played the middle too much. Yeah. In, in particular, the Malice at the Palace episode, mm. uh, for for instance. And I like I like to apologize. He's probably not going to watch this. I mean, you know, like it's a needle in a haystack to someone like him but if he does he does I'd like to apologize to jermaine o'neill mm. and the reason why i'm saying that is because i feel like i did not defend him enough for what he went through and i i, I would really hate that i would hate for him to have his legacy tarnished tarnish yeah. by that yeah and the person who we really should be mad at is Jamal Tinsley. Is, is uh there's two. <laughs> there's 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 Jamal Tinsley yeah. who said uh you can get your file back. Yeah. There is him and then and then there's the guy he punched, uh Charlie Haddad. Yeah. And you know I hate I I, I feel bad for him that his legacy yeah. is tied to that, Malice at the Palace. Yes. Yeah, and that dude Charlie Haddad like willfully provoked him to yeah do, and and that and that guy and tried to lie about it yeah like, and and we talked we talked about in the green room about some of the stuff that he he was on like this that's that guy 
which I, I, I mean, the next day, like I wasn't, I wasn't there, but this is this is hearsay. I'm not right. saying that I'm going to say allegedly because I don't want to get sued. But supposedly that this guy um, was at a game where the Houston Rockets, Houston Rockets, came to the palace, and he was saying racial yeah. like like Asian slurs at Yao Ming. I don't know if that's true or not. But we that's that's yeah that that's something you you can Google and you can you can do your own homework on that. Yeah. And I wouldn't put it past him for the type of person that he is, the character that he displayed to the public. Yeah, I wouldn't put that past him. Yeah, that's not a like surprise. Like, oh no, it couldn't be. No. Yeah, I and, wouldn't put it past yeah. him, bro. And so, like, there are, there are certain things that like we we talk about here, and then we we forget. We, either forget or we're kind of just in the moment yeah. and then we don't get it on the microphone yeah. and it's like, you know, maybe we, you know, things happen and we just like, Oh, I forgot. And then yeah. like, you'll watch the episode, you know, days later. Yeah. Cause like, yeah. you know, we're going to, we're going to record this. It's probably going to get published in you know, I don't know, 48, 72 hours. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, Oh, I forgot to say that. Say like, that. Yeah, that that happens know? all the time. Yeah. You know, that's natural. That happens. But I appreciate your insight on that and what you feel like you you can improve on. I feel like what I can improve on is I think you brought it out of me as far as doing a little bit more research. I think a lot of subjects that we talked about out of the 20 episodes, now 20, because it's from zero, episode zero to 19, mm. uh, I think I can do better on my research. I think you pulled out data that was so pertinent to whatever, you know, subject that we were talking about. I feel like I could have added more value if I would have did a little bit more research because a lot of stuff that, yeah, you know, I'll give myself credit is not to toot my own horn, but I give myself credit that I remembered a lot of things from back in the day when mm. we reminisced and, you know, nostalgia pieces, right? Mm. But I felt like, yeah, I could have did a little bit more because I was so confident that I knew about this subject or this episode we're going to do. I don't even do that, you know, and I feel like I probably mm. could have added that. So mm. I definitely do that and then stand on track like my beautiful queen said, stay on track <laughs> and keeping uh, with the agenda would be better. We And, and these are things, guys, that we're going to do moving forward. This is not just some therapy space that we're having right now. Right. Mm. So uh, what surprised you most about preparing for a podcast? Um, It's, it's work. It ain't you know, just like grabbing you, you mics got, you got, and you just got, talking. You got to put in work. Like it, it takes time. Yeah, you know, it, ta- it takes, it takes hours. It takes days. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so it's, it's not just, you can, you can just push, you know, push a button and then yeah. just and then just wing it. You you like, like it's it's it's, ac- it's actual work. I mean it, it's fun. It's fun. It, it's fun. Reward. But it's work. work. But but it, it is it is work nonetheless. At the end of the day, though, you can push out content. We can give our viewers, you know, BS crap. We could. We could. You know. I mean. I mean. But you this know, is we, something we, that we put our heart and souls into, so we don't yeah. do that. Yeah, I mean, right. we 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 could just you know just say things that we think will go viral, yeah. you know, or like uh, hot tour. <laughs> you know <what> I, mean? <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like we can like we can, <laughs> <laughs> we can, we can. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, we could just kind of oh, we're gonna just like try to like uh. <laughs> artificially insert things yeah. to like, all right, this one's going to be viral. And but it's like, it's we're, I, I don't think either one of us, I mean, look, like we both have jobs, yeah. you know? So it's like, I mean, this yeah. is, this, this is a hobby. I mean, whatever you want to call it, a hobby, a labor of love. Or a you passion know? outside yeah. of our yeah. regular. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's, it's like, we, we both have uh, careers, Mm-hmm. You know that that are like I have a government job, which I'm not going to say what it is. Yeah, sec- but, but, we, uh, we but, got uh, we got secular jobs, bro. That correct. We provide for our families. Yes, right? yes. So that's that. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, bro, it's like yeah, it sucks because 
we look at this as a hobby slash passion slash like, hmm, I wouldn't mind doing that and providing for my family off that because it's right. It doesn't feel like work, right? Yeah. Because, but it is work that you yeah. have to put into this, right? Mm-hmm. You got to look at okay, what are we going to talk about this week? What are we going to talk about that week? If we do pan out a, we do create or generate a episode itinerary. Things can happen, bro. Yeah. Like you can have breaking news where it's like, oh, we need to be in tune with this. We need to talk about this that week, right? Yeah. You can kind of push that back. Yeah. Right? This is not that important. This is more important. Yeah. Like we we were gonna finish and for you guys who probably thinking, uh, me and Lily started re watching the last dance. Mm-hmm. We got all the way up to what, episode six? Six and seven, right? Because we had, we had no. We got to episode five six, and then we got no. Yep, five and six. And then we were supposed to do seven, eight, and nine and ten. Mm-hmm. It's ten episodes total. So we never finished, but it was things that came up, like this whole Caitlin Clark thing came up, right? Yeah, where they was like picking on Caitlin Clark. So then we had an episode with the Caitlin Clark effect. Like, what's the effect that she has? On the WNBA, the notoriety the WNBA is getting. Yeah. And then we we had certain episodes where about the GOAT debate. Those hot takes that they were saying stupid junk. Not not the GOAT debate, but hot takes debunked, right? Yeah. Where yeah. Nick Wright yeah, was, was saying yeah, it was, re- it was, ridiculous it was, stuff. It right? was, yeah. And that was uh, just to piggyback a little bit. Like, that was the reason why I didn't, I was like, I don't think I can do an hour of Nick Wright. Yeah. And, and because I mean, some of the stuff that was coming out, it was uh, was it pertinent? Is that the word? Yeah. It's pertinent to like okay that week. It made this sense. This will this will make it made sense to it drop this sense. instead of last dance. Even though I was pushing to like we we need to get seven through ten tie a bow. Oh, on yeah, the last yeah, yeah, put a, put a put a bow yeah. on it and yeah. like you know. But but I I, I understand why yeah. like the Kayla the the Caitlin Clark that took uh, slash bro. um Angel Reese who I think is overrated. Uh, d- uh yeah yeah don't don't at me but <laughs> I, 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 me. yeah I, I feel like that you know certain certain episodes like yeah we we should put that out now yeah and, and, and I, I totally get that yeah. my other problem with nick wright was he just kept ticking me off yeah. over and over and, and over and over again like he like, was he, wearing he, jordans he he's he was rocking 12s which, which, which is my favorite shoe His favorite of shoe. all time yeah and you know and this cat he what, I tell you what really made me mad, like for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Um, he he gets he talks about how this twenty twenty four dream team, which hasn't even won a regulation game yet, they're, they're just playing uh, pickup games mm-hmm. essentially. They're and, better and, than and, the dream and, and they're, they're better than a dream team. Oh my! God. And he was like, uh, in nineteen ninety two, Larry Bird was cooked. <sighs> and you know, I have a fourteen forty p monitor. I was ready to punch that screen. <laughs> When he, said, when, he, when he said that, you know. Anytime man. I hear him talk, I just hear it the backwards, man. Yeah. You know, I, I can walk back as fast as you can. I can walk back as fast as you can. Yeah. Or I hear, Daddy, do you want some sausage? Yeah. Daddy, do you want some sausage? <laughs> like, Nick Wright is a clown. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You are, if he, you know, he'll never watch it. And I don't care if you do. Mm. I don't care if you give us a thumb down. I don't care if you tell a million people, never watch their podcast. Do you suck, bro? You suck. You do not do your job the way you should. You are not objectionable. You try to force an agenda and a narrative onto the public who probably don't have knowledge of sports like you do. So you manipulate their knowledge of sports to try to turn it to be a fanboy like you. You suck, bro. And if I was to meet you in person, I'll tell you that in your face. You suck. Because you sit here and spew all that venom on MJ's legacy. You mm. try to tarnish this man's legacy, and you still turn around and wear Jays. Yeah. Like, why? Why Why are yeah. you not wearing LeBrons? Yeah. Shannon Sharp, you too. I would tell Shannon Sharp, he's got the hugest platform in the podcast world. I would tell him and Ocho Cinco, y'all suck. Yeah, you good. You get views because who you are. You yeah. Shannon Sharp. You're a Hall of Fame football player. Yeah. Everybody knows you. Yeah. Right? But that don't mean your content don't suck. Right. <laughs> you had Cat Williams on there. Yeah. What did you do? 
You yeah. got Cat Williams drunk, and Cat Williams just went off the rails, and that yeah. went it went viral. Hot tour, it just went yeah. viral. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for real. I mean, in, in, in my opinion, McDonald's sucks, but it's number one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I mean, it, it, it's I mean, it's in in the eyes of your Ruby Tuesdays and your and your Red Robins yeah. and, and your and your Five Guys. McDonald's sucks, oh, yeah. but 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 I tell you what, I mean, there's one at like you know every mile you go, there's one there's one at the corner. Yeah, you know what I mean. So Convenience. they're 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 everywhere. They got they got Happy Meals. Convenience. They got they got mascots. You know what I'm saying? It used to be they, the they, price. They got oh, merch. It used to be the price. Oh, it's cheaper to eat at McDonald's than it is at Ruby Tuesday. But now it's about the same. You get a double quarter pounder meal. That's about the same as a burger meal at Ruby Tuesday. If, it, it, if yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean these uh, days, yeah. Uh, but anyway, you know, just, just, just kind of reeling it back in and circle back on around. You know, these, uh, for anyone who's thinking about a podcast, who's doing a podcast, who look at us for inspiration and motivation. Thank you, first and foremost. Mm. But also understand, you know, the what surprised the most to me about preparing was I thought it was I, I'm thinking, you know, the way my mind think, I'm thinking like, oh, we got this. Mm. We'll do this episode this week and next week. You know, you don't factor in, hey, Buck works, I work, I get tired, my wife gets tired. Oh, we, our anniversary is this weekend. Yeah. Oh man, we went out of town yeah. this weekend. You know, I mean they like, say uh, we went to New York and when we came back, we we didn't have the energy in us physically life happens to feel uh, to to film an episode. Yeah. We just didn't have it. Now it was one weekend where we like, sorry fans, you know, sorry our subscribers. Then our our anniversary was July sixth, which was a Saturday. We don't get time for people to watch our children, right? Mm. We have a nine and six year old and seven seven, seven year old yeah. nine and seven. It felt weird when I said six. Like we have a nine and seven year old. He'll be ten in September and you know they're little people they need attention right. they need direction they need discipline they need right, right. they need to stay on track yeah, all that yeah yeah we yeah. Don't, we don't have too food. many people food yeah. <laughs> everything like yeah. we don't have too many people that we can say hey watch our kids so we can go hang out or you know what i'm saying so my mom is you know love my mom shout out to my mom teresa you know she is you know, willing to, you know, sacrifice and watch them on her weekend. She works hard during the week. Yeah. Her weekends are her time. So she'll watch the kids on the weekend. And we hate dumping our kids on people. We ain't like, oh, man, you know, you know, certain people be like, oh, we got your kids. Just, yeah. you know, they're good kids. No, bro. I, I don't care. I'm not dumping my children on anybody. Mm -hmm. Right. So we appreciate that. But we don't get much time to just be Darnell and Lily like we were before we had children. Mm. Like we had a whole life before we had children, right? Babe? Like we had a whole life, like seriously. Mm. And now we have children that changes everything, but in a good way. It's not a complaint that I'm making, but the fact that the matter that I'm saying, like you said, life happens, yeah. right? So we finally get somebody to watch our kids. We go out and have a great time on our anniversary. And it's like, man. We got to film an episode tomorrow. It's like, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, you know, things yeah. happen, y'all. Yeah. So, you know, right now we're not under contracted. Everything is funded by everyone you see and you don't see behind the scenes. You yeah, know? we don't we don't have like a We're not team. sponsored. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm like, saying? Like, yeah, we're, we're not. Uh, we're it's not, just us three. Yeah. We're, we're doing this. Yeah, we're not AMP yeah. or, you know, RDC World. Or it is what it is. Yeah. You know, Mason Cam and Stat Baby. Right. We're not, we not them. They have a whole team, a whole contract. They have millions of dollars that sponsor them. So they can do that. Yeah. We're just, we're in my living room. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, man, it's like, yeah, it's a lot that I didn't factor in. Life happens. We don't we don't think about that. Preparing for the podcast and being able to continue on and, and generate topics that's relevant, that makes sense, that people want to hear our point of views on, right? Because mm. that's what we're doing. Mm. We we're not we're not recreating a wheel. We're not digging up some invention. Mm. We didn't we're not archaeologists and found some fossil. 
we we just take you know topics that's relevant to today's sneakers, sports, fashion, and pop culture. Yeah. We take those and we give our takes from it, right? Our mm-hmm. personal point of view. Yeah. So um in conclusion, what goals do you have for next season, Buck? Um, so the episode that we did on the Jordan Eleven, I would like to do more of those. Yeah, yeah. Take, you know, like take a we just do like it could be Jordan Three, it could be Air Max Ninety, Air Max Ninety Five. You know, just take take a sneaker and just dissect it, what and about just the, like go through the tech and like go through the colorways. What about the Easy Three Fifties? Who? <laughs> just... <laughs> no, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, low key, like no, no, a, a, no. Adidas. That. Like we didn't. I don't think we did a whole lot of Adidas. No, um, yeah, yeah, like I, this this season. I got some Like Adidas I would like, I would like to do. Um, Adidas. I got some Adidas. Like yeah. I, I got, I got some shell show, uh, shell toes. The the turtle joints. The the collab with the turtles. yeah yeah. I, uh, yeah. they're they're call, they call they literally literally call them shell toes. Yeah. And, but they're they're superstars. Yeah. And they change the uh, how the toe looks. Yeah. And it they're I think like they're doing they're doing shell. they're doing a few other ones. I think their yeah. master splinter is good and, one. And you Shard got the one. uh. Miles Morales shell toes too, don't you? I tried to I tried to buy them, but uh, Stock X canceled my order. Oh, okay. Which okay. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, Stock X, I'm mad yeah. at you right now. Yeah. But that, that that's, on, that's, that's, that's that's a whole other conversation. My man. Dale. But uh, <laughs> shout out. But I, I would like to do other things outside of Jordan, so that, like we're just glazing Jordan uh, you know, every time. Yeah, yeah, and I mean it is what it is. But yeah, I do have some Adidas too. I got some uh, Samba. Um, uh, uh, what is a sneaker politics sambas? Mm-hmm. I got I got some Adidas, some regular Adidas sambas. You know, I, I got some Adidas. We, you know, I got some Asics. I got some Reeboks. I got thanks to you. I got some uh, 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 uh Sockenies. Mm-hmm. I got you know, you know what I'm saying. I love sneakers. Yeah, I mean, but Jordan and Nike is my top. That's my favorite. So, yeah. but at the end of the day, bro, uh. What goals do you have for next year? So you want to tap in to other sneakers or more episodes that's geared towards like breaking down a sneaker. That's what I like to do. Like that's that might not necessarily be in because I remember you you said that well that's more like a wear tester thing. It's not necessarily like oh like, you talking you about breaking you down the tech. Thing. I would like to get into that. Yeah, uh, we don't, let's it, do it. it. Have to be like every episode. But no, maybe like maybe like you know, at least one more like how we did Jordan Eleven. At least the only reason why I said something about Wear Tester because for one, shout out to Nightwing Wear Tester. Uh, he's one of my favorites, mm-hmm. right? I get educated from this guy. Yeah, like he 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 knows what he's talking about, right? Mm-hmm. He's literally opened up sneakers and looked at mm-hmm. the the encapsulated air units. That's not exposed. Yeah. That's behind the polyurethane. That's, you know, he, he, he knows that. So shout out to him. Right. Yeah. Um, I just said, that's not UFG from my standpoint of my shoe reviews on YouTube when it's just me solo right here. Okay. Right. Okay. So it's, it's, it's not like, oh no, we can't do that. We're mm-hmm. forbidden from doing that because that's all nightway. No. If you want to get into that, we can do that. Bro. Yeah. But it's just about us doing our research, making sure, and I I trust you wholeheartedly. Um, yeah. But it's you know I I put the onus on me, yeah, the accountability on me to be able to really do the research and make sure the materials, you know, yeah, the yeah. The, the construct, and everything, yeah. the ingredients that go into the specific sneaker, whatever we're talking about, I need to be on point as well as you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's in terms of topics. Yeah. For episodes in terms of the brand. Yeah. Um, I would like to see us get some kind of sponsorship, wh- wh- whether it's through Google or, you know, an- another entity. And then whatever, whatever numbers we did this year or this year, uh, this season, 
uh, possibly double them next season. Double it, yeah, next season as far as viewership, everything, notoriety, all that. And we've been doing good. And uh, and again, thank you guys. Uh, our the the Universal Footgear YouTube channel has grew. You know, like exponentially, it's grew. You know, in the last couple months, it just grew like a hundred subscribers. Mm-hmm. Just in the last couple months, so we're at like I want to say six. Where are we at, babe? Like six oh eight, six ten, six oh eight. So we had a six oh eight, six hundred eight subscribers, which is great. You know, and just like maybe a week or two ago, we was at like five fifty. Like five hundred something. Like you know, I remember one day when you was over here. Yeah. You know, we was just chilling watching TV, and I'm like, "Dog, the sub count is going up." He's like, "Bro, make another video." And it was like, <laughs> "All right," you know. What yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah, man. Um, my goals for this next season is again to bring more notoriety to the brand, to get us sponsored, to get us in the position. Where hey we can do this for a living, right? Mm. That that's the goal, right? Mm. To get us to do this for a living, where you can say salute to your job, and I can say salute, peace, to my job. You know, maybe a little bit more, but you know, we say that to our jobs and move on, bro, and just grow, mm. right? Mm-hmm. And still don't miss a beat in providing financially for our families, and you know. And maybe, you know, add to the financial to mm-hmm. our family. So that's a goal. And then as far as episodes go, and you know, I really want to tap into a little bit more. You know, I do want to keep the meat and potatoes as sneakers, mm-hmm. sports, fashion, pop culture. Mm-hmm. I do want to keep that the meat and potatoes, but I I want to interview more like I, I want guests, mm-hmm. right? More people to come on to kind of not only we bring notoriety to their brand, but they bring notoriety from their fan base or their platform to us. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So I want that interchange of encouragement. We're used to hearing that. Right. You know, I want to be able to have that interchange of encouragement from different people. Right. Mm. So that's a goal of mine to continue to grow, to continue to stay tapped into what's relevant, like what people want to hear. Yeah. Right. They want to hear our sides on certain things. Then I want to, you know, we're not going to go as far as, you know, politics. We're not going to go as far as, you know, rap beefs and, yeah. you know, gossip. We're not, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. we're not going to go that far. Right. That's just not. Who yeah. We are. It's, That's it's not like, what we do. It's I mean, we might talk about it off air, but like, yeah, in terms yeah. Of like on, on, here, like on yeah, air, no. like because this is the brand. Right? Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're representing we're representing something bigger than us. Mm-hmm. Right. So we're not going to do that. Mm. So at the end of the day, you know, we, we, we're we going to continue to give the people what they want. You know, like Jalen Rose, you say, give the people what they want, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And that's a goal for next season. So so we're going to tie a bow on this one, bro. Part one is over with. Uh, We're going to finish part one right now. Appreciate you coming on, bro. Yeah, thank you, It's been you, man. a beautiful season. Yes. Thank you for being a, along with me on this journey. I love you, man. Me too, man. And uh, I'm ready to go to season two, bro, and yeah. see and, uh, what we have on season two. And even though season one was episodes zero to 20, I think, man, we got the potential. You know, we probably keep it on a 20 basis, but depending on contingent upon how season two ends up in the connections we make and the relationships we continue to cultivate, we might elevate from season two to season, season two, episode 40. You yeah. know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So it just, it's really dependent and contingent upon what the future holds. Right. right. Mm-hmm. And what we do. So mm-hmm. again, man, salute to you dog for taking time out of your schedule to be a part of this, man. Uh, to be my dog, be my right hand, and this is an accomplishment, man. Yes, we 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 definitely check that. Not everybody can say they did a whole full season of a podcast, right? Hundred percent, right? <laughs> no matter the yeah. viewership, no matter the sub count, yeah. no matter none of that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people can't say that, yeah. right? We can say that. Yes. So, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, man, and then we want to turn it to you guys and thank you guys for. Mm-hmm all the support and the love that you've given us 
and the motivation and the battery that you put in my back to continue on and, and, and just to push forward, bro. And times when it didn't seem so bright for us, we just kept pushing. And we kept working. And then uh, we just going to keep doing the same thing. So we're going to tie a boat on that one. Our next episode, part two of this episode, will be with me and my queen and my bride. And she will answer the same questions that Buck answered. And we'll go through it, man. So, Mm. again, thanks, bro. Thank you, man. We're going to end it. Yep. And we'll see y'all on part two. Peace.